and we've got Hill Wet to Music coming up now. A really exciting competition in store for you. We've got the 10 best handlers in the UK. And as you can see, the arena's all laid out. We've got three spots for the judges. You'll notice the judges have been separated so they can't talk. So we have three separate opinions. And we've got some props out ready for the first hander. But uh, my first pleasure is to introduce to our judging panel. Would you like to join me? Welcome into the arena. Our three judges to lead them in is Ander Izzio. And from the Northwest, and uh, a very popular competitor and judge. Following her, Claudia Moser, and she's from Switzerland. We've got a Swiss judge with us. And finally, our head judge, young Gina Pink. I will probably bore you. I know some of you know all the rules, but I will be saying a little bit about the rules in between each dog because uh, not everyone knows about them. And certainly don't forget we're going out on live streaming. And, uh, and uh, it's worth mentioning now that if you're not with us on each day of the show, you can catch up on live streaming. Whatever you see on the Crofts website from the program in this arena, you will be, you'll be able to see it on the live streaming, the YouTube Crofts live streaming so you can go on your computer and watch whatever you want to that's going on at the show well i think our judges are just about ready to go and i know we'll all have our own opinion after each dog but uh, you will appreciate that they're looking at some of the things that are slightly different to us so i think we're ready for our first competitor in this the 2015 Crofts Freestyle Final. Now all the competitors have qualified through heats to a semi-final that was held at the end of January and only, I think there was 25 or so competitors made it through to the semi-final through qualifying at heats at shows but only the top 10 have come through so we're going to see some really good entertainment and some skilled dog training as well. Would you like to welcome into the arena please with her dog Alaska it's Leslie Brocklehurst. The kennel club name of the dog is Janabakab Speck of Light. It's a Border Collie, nine-year-old Border Collie, a Border Collie bitch. And um, she's going to be performing a routine to the music called Dream by Amtrio. And it's the dog's ninth birthday today, I have to say, and the first time in the Crufts freestyle ring. And Leslie has a superb dress on, as you can see. Leslie, uh, the music is yours.
a big round of applause. What a wonderful routine and a lovely piece of music. And it's a good example, folks, of how you, you create the routine and get the music to match the mood. And Leslie is very, very good at matching the dog and the moves with the music itself. And that's what it's all about. As you'll no doubt gather, I know a lot of you are dog trainers yourselves, the, 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 uh, virtually all the handlers use clicker training to train the dogs for this. It's the only way you could get the dog to perform the moves and want to do them. That's the main thing. And uh, being married to a, a music lady, I know all about it. And that's these, the main, main way that you train here to music um, with a variety of moves. And you'll see each of the handlers doing um, a different repertoire of moves. In freestyle to mu in freestyle section, you've got two sections. You've got heel work to music and freestyle. Tomorrow is the heel work to music, where you can only have so many freestyle moves within it. Obviously, in this one, you can put as many freestyle moves in as you like, and they're, uh, if you like, if you call them tricks to music, really. Uh, and just being careful to get all the stepping out right, so they've got it exactly how they want it. Let's have a look, see if the results are ready yet. Just waiting for the uh, judges to complete their, their thoughts. Very difficult, because when we look at the competition, we'll be saying, we think that's the best, and we could actually judge it on applause. But the judges are looking at the technicalities of it, and have they got all the different elements in? And if they do a particular move in a routine, did it complete it com correctly? Or was it a failed move? Well, that won't attract us higher vote, as high a vote as the, uh, the ones that get it absolutely correct. So there's a lot in it, so we're just waiting for Claudia to finish her, put her, her final results down. I'm told that we've got at least two Hillwood to Music um, people through to the next stage on Britain's Got Talent, I understand. Although we don't know who they are and if they'll get through to the, um, the live shows, but certainly it's been taken very seriously on that program, so we, we're looking to get that on very shortly. Now let's have a look what Leslie's results were like. We're just a little bit delayed because of obviously waiting for the judges to put the correct result down that they see fit. Right, my show, here we go. Leslie Brocklehurst with her dog, Alaska. 7.87 seven and 72, that's a very good result there. The maximum that could get there would be 10 in each section. So in actual fact, a little bit down there on accuracy, 6.3 off Andorizio, but all the sevens apart from that. Oh, and I, interpretation of the music, that was beautiful, that music, and the way she went with it. So we got two eights there. No penalties for barking or anything like that, and so she got a total score of 22.2. Let's give a round of applause. That's a really good start from a very talented pair. Right. Handler number two out of our ten starters. This is uh, with her dog Splash. Would you welcome in Anne Shuka? <laughs> the kennel club name of the dog is Splish Splash, a working sheep dog seven years old. Splash the rescue dog and needed work, so they took him on to Hillwood to Music, which she loves, and she competed the cross freestyle in 2013, but had to miss the semi finals last year due to injury. She also goes into schools with the children as well, so uh, a good varied background there. The music they're using is uh, Home Front on the Blitz, and it's by various artists. So, uh, Splash and Anne, you're under starter's orders. Be an 
Mothers, send your children out of London. Give them a greater chance of safety. applause and and splash again another story really great with some lovely pieces of music strung together there so uh, that's what a lot of the handlers do they try and tell a story some will be West End shows some will be a story about um, something that's happened as with this one I thought Captain Mannering was going to walk into the arena any moment but there we go now, as I said, they're looking for something a little bit different to us, and sometimes we all think, why haven't that, that dog and handler got more marks? Well, I'll just go through a few odd items in the... Uh, what, the three areas that the, the judges are actually looking at. They're looking at programme context, accuracy and execution of movement and musical interpretation, and they will put marks up to 10 for each of those sections. And then there may be deductions, as we saw in the score sheet. And deductions could be physically helping the uh, dog. It could be the dog barking a lot. So there will be an area at the end they can make an overall deduction from the routine. Certainly the, the programme, the content, has got to be absolutely correct. So it must, it, the, the, the whole content must actually uh, be okay with the definition of it. And uh, it must conform to either the Hillwork to Music or Freestyle definition. As I said, in Hillwork to Music, it's got to be about two thirds based on Hillwork moves, and the, the other third are Freestyle. In, in Freestyle, obviously, it can be all Freestyle moves, but a lot of the handlers do put some Hillwork in with it. 
There should be no repetition or excessive repetition of movement and con back contact and, and should be appropriate to the routine. All the contact should be appropriate to the routine. And the movement, movements the dog enters into should be appropriate to the confirmation of the dog as well. So they've got an awful lot to look at, the judges. So we've got the results in now, and this is for Anne and Splash. Oh, it's an eight there. The judges like that. This is for content, 8.2 and 8.4. I think we'd all agree with that. That was excellent content. 7.9 is nearly an eight. It's an eight accuracy and eight again. The judges like this. This looks like it's going to go into the lead now. And interpretation, we've got a nine. And a, oh, that's absolutely tremendous. Not take away, it's our leader, 25. Well, that's our new leader. leader. So we only want you Captain Mannering in the arena to uh, complete that one. Some of the uh, tracks that you performed to were really good as well. Now, next, handler number three, we've got Pauline Goddard with Misty. And it's Misty, Mist of Snowden, it's a working sheepdog, nine years old. And the music that Pauline's using is Wouldn't It Be Lovely by Audrey Hepburn. And uh, she did say earlier this is the dog's swan song because she's going to retire the dog after the performance today. So it's over to you, Pauline. Thank <laughs> you. 
give a big round of applause. What a great routine, lovely piece of music. Well done, Pauline. You never know, by the applause, you might influence the judges if you like a routine, but somehow I don't think so. Our uh, studio's looking. Now, don't forget, we are not just spectators to this in every sense of the word. The handlers are going to perform to the judges. That's their front view. But you've all got the screen to look at because they're cl doing close-up shots of the screen, all the t all the, of the dog all the time, so they will catch the, the bit you're missing on the big screen if you have a look. Well, this looks jolly interesting. I wonder what the music's going to be to this. Perhaps it's Easter music or something, sweetie. Anyway, we seem to have had some that have gone for the theme music for the occasion at the moment. And we've had three excellent routines. We're just going to wait for Pauline's results. And they'll be looking at, again, the degree of difficulty of all the moves that go with it. If you're interested in hearing words of music, if you go up to the dog activities area up in all three, they can tell you all about where you can actually get some help in the training of it but you would obviously need some basic training in dog training to start with before you progressed. But lots of people do play about with music playing at home. Just started in 1990, when a young lady did a, a display evening and introduced heel work with music playing. And then after doing that for a couple of years, she decided it'd probably be better if I actually got the dog to move in sequence to the music. So in actual fact, the choreography of it came in and that continued until the first show was held in 96, because between 90 and 96, a lot of other people got interested in it. And certainly it's spread throughout the world now, from China to America, Australia, New Zealand, all throughout Europe, you've got hill to music. And I know we, some people call it doggy dancing, which it is, but in actual fact, it's very, very technical the way you're training. You cannot just do a bit of doggy dancing if you want to compete. You've actually got to train your dog because each individual move you see will be trained on its own quite separately. And as I said earlier, probably with clicker training because that's the only way you can get the dog to do some of the things they do in ear words music. They must actually want to do it. And the way you do that is with a clicker and lots and lots of dog treats. Let's have a look at the results now. Oh, it's a good one for Pauline. We like this. I like the music as well. So we've got an eight for content, 8.3. Off Gina Pink, we've got 7.2, a little bit lower there. And seven from Andrew Rizzo, 22.5 for the content. Accuracy, 8.2, a seven. Oh, and a 6.4. All the judges have their own opinions. Interpretation, 8.6, a seven and Oh, another six, a 6.9, 22.7. Overall, it's still a good result, 22.27. Right, now the, the stage is set again. It's got a great route, got great outfit on, so we can't wait to see what's gonna occur here. Would you welcome into the arena with her dog Teasel, it's Lucy Creek. Dylan Making Waves is the name of the dog. And it's a beagle, that's the kennel club name, nine years old. And uh, she's gonna put, well, now we perhaps understand the outfit. She's performing to Alice in Wonderland medley by the Walt Disney Music Company. So uh, Lucy and Teasel, let the music start. No time to say hello, goodbye, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. No, 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 I'm overdue. I'm really in a stew. No time to say goodbye, hello, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late.
me how I love to sail on the bounding sea. And I never, never, ever do a thing about the weather, for the weather never, ever does a thing for me. Backward, inward, outward, come and join the chase. Nothing could be drier than a jolly caucus race. Backward, forward, upward, inward, bottom to the top. But never a beginning, there can never be a stop. Up to the fancy free him day. A tall little tomorrow, but he'll finish yesterday. Round and round and round we go until forever more. to say, folks, that obviously border collies and working sheepdogs are very, very popular in all the activity sports. That fast turning a sixpence, quick to learn and, and retain learning. Do you know what a, a joy it is to see? There's lots of different breeds competing in Who Works Music and in other disciplines, but to see a dog perform to that standard, who is actually a beagle, which we don't normally see in the ring, it just is tremendous. And it's not because beagles can't do it. It's just that it's bred into them for their job they did in the, in the previous lives that they would do and take the time and sniff round and do whatever. But she's done, been one of the most successful handlers to get a beagle to train like that. So she's done really well. We're really pleased to see that great routine. And be interesting to see what the judges mark that up as well. Certainly for accuracy and execution of moment, uh, movement, she had it pretty well nailed. And, um, and he says the dog should work in a happy and natural, willing manner. And I don't think there's any doubt that happened as well. So we're just going to wait for the results now. And then, uh, in fact, I can't wait to see how that goes. Don't forget, if you can't make it to join us in here in the Genting Arena at Crofts 2015, it's all been streamed live on the Crofts YouTube site so go in the crafts website there's a link through to it there it'll give you the program on there of what's in the, on the, in this arena all day long and you can go in and watch what you want we've got here we're to music tomorrow if you're not with us we've got international freestyle the day after and on sunday night at 7 45 we've got mary ray's here we to music routine or i should say freestyle routine in this arena going live and that will be available on the live streaming as well I won't say that uh, Mary Ray's routine is a routine this year. It's more like a production, so you mustn't win it. You mustn't miss it, I should say. Right, here we go. Let's see how she's got on with Lucy Creek and Teasel. 8.6, 8.2. 
Oh, it's a 6.4, 23.2, accuracy, seven, eight, another eight, so we've got three eights, another six. It doesn't matter though, the judge is obviously working to where she wants to be. So she's marking, they're all getting a lower sort of figure off her. It doesn't matter, it's who comes at the top in the end. So I give a round of applause, 22.47. Into second place. Well, that's not to be sneezed at. Into second place. Lovely routine. I think she's coming back with another routine later. Now, would you like to welcome into the arena with a border collie, Christine Oxenby. <laughs> Legacy is, is, is Eagle, is the full name of the dog, eight years old. And uh, they're performing to a very well-known track by a young man called Robbie Williams, and it's called Well Did You Ever. I have heard among this clan are called the forgotten man. Is that what they're saying? Well, did you ever? What a swell party this is. And have you heard the story of a boy, a girl, unrequited love? Sounds like your soap I may cry. Tune in tomorrow. What a swell party this is. What frails, what rocks, what rods, what furs, what rocks. They're beautiful. Well, I've never seen such gaiety. Beautiful. It's all just too tourist K, really. This French champagne. Domestic. So good for the brain. That's what I was going to say. You know, you're a brilliant fellow. Oh, well, I think. Pick up, Jack. But please don't eat that glass, my friend. Have you heard about dear Blanche? Got run down by an avalanche. No. Oh, don't worry, she's a game girl, you know. Got up and finished fourth. The kids got guts. Having a nice time? Grab a line. Have you heard the Pimsy star? What now? She got pinched in the ass to fly. Not again, eh? She was stoned. Well, did you ever? Never. What a swell party this is. Check out that. That's uh, a lovely dress. You think I can talk her out of it? It's gray. Ah, it's gray. So grand. So grand. It's wonderland. La la da 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 Kind of grown and chum. Have you heard it's in the stars? Next to lie, we collide with Mars. Well, well, did you ever? What a swell party, a swell party, a swell again. A liberty fraternity. fraternity. Have you heard it's in the stars? Next to lie, we collide with Mars. Well, did you ever? What a swell party! Swell party! Swelling an elegant party! Another great routine. Well done, Christine. 
Hey, Christine, is it true that you're a vicar's wife? I dare to ask her where she practices her routines. So there you go, Christine there with her dog. And we'll wait and see what the judges make of that. A very, very nice routine. And, and again, to a, the, half the problem with coming up, trying to come up with a routine is actually pick, picking the music. And it's the most difficult thing. You could go for months. Every time you hear a bit of music, you have to stop and see if that's going to be suitable. And of course, a lot of handlers are doing it. So in actual fact, you're trying to also find a bit of music that hasn't been used by someone else. So it's always a little bit difficult and a bit of stress getting the right piece of music and also the music that suits your dog, whether you want a slower piece of music or one that's a little bit quicker. So it's always a little bit difficult. And probably the most um, stressful part of your words music is getting the, the music right. And then you obviously come to the train after that. Music and interpretation is not about doing a series of tricks. You sometimes see somebody doing hill words music and they're doing a series of tricks with the music happening to play it in the background. What the judges are looking for is an interpretation of the music and get the choreography and the phasing and the timing should be apparent within the routine so everybody can see that it's actually been put to music and it's not a random piece of music playing while they, um, the dog's performing a series of tricks. Just wait now, our final results come through and it looks like we have it. Right, we're ready for the result of that now. For Christina. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Eight and eight, nine. Eight, three and eight, five. That's 25.7 in the first one. First section accuracy, it's an eight again. This could take the lead, you know, eight, two, and seven, four. Interpretation of the music, well, that seemed good to me. Eight, five, eight, two, and eight, 24, seven. I think this is our new leader, is it? 24.67, not quite, it's gone into second place. But still a jolly good try and a lovely routine. 24.67 is in second place, and Shuk is still in the lead on 25, so not much in it. Right, up next in the arena with her dog Charlie, we've got Jackie Roberts. Ros Marmite Soldier is the kennel club name of the dog. It's a Border Collie six-year-old. And uh, Charlie and Jackie's first dog ever, and this is their first dog dog. First time competing in the arena here at Crofts. The music is Busy Doing Nothing by Dave Stewart and Barbara Gaskin. So, music maestro, please.
busy going nowhere It's not just a crime We'd like to be a happy but We never do have the time I have to meet a turtle I'm teaching him how to swim And I have to shine the dew drops They're looking rather dim I tell you my friend the robin And I buy him a brand new bed There you go, well done, Jackie and Charlie. A great routine with some great moves in there, well performed, and again with the theme to the music. And you notice all the handlers have taken a lot of care with the theme to the music reflecting in their dress. And that's what we have to do with everything. Certainly, uh, I know that the, there's, um, the, the routine that's been performed here in the main ring on Sunday evening at 7.45, there's a substantial amount of money being um, invested in the outfits for all the handlers. You either spend a lot of money buying the outfit or get the needle and cotton out and make it. And obviously it's down to whatever you can do. And it doesn't matter how good it is as long as it is reflected in the music that's playing. Now, we didn't have any rules as such about what you actually were and were not allowed to wear for Hillwater Music here at Crofts. But three years ago, after one of the international freestyle events, we had to introduce a little bit of a rule because a young lady from an overseas country came in and performed. We had an old gentleman who was a member of the Kennel Club up in the red seats there, and they had to help him out the arena because to say she was skimpily dressed was a little bit of a problem, it really was. With the fishnet tights and everything, I won't go anymore, but it was ducking and diving. Uh, but in actual fact, we had to bring in some rules to say the dress actually has to be appropriate to the music and uh, a high level of decency with it as well. So they do put a lot of thought into the routines. It looks like we've got a Johnny B. Carrot there. It looks like we've got a rabbit coming in. This hill wears the music with rabbits and not dogs, I ask myself. So pacing out the dogs know exactly where the equipment's going to be, so they have to make sure it's paced out. Also, they have to make sure whatever they're going to do is obviously facing this way for the judges as well. Let's have a look, see if the results are ready. Nearly ready now. So the rules coming up now are for Charlie and Jackie. And they're busy doing nothing. Here we go then. Oh, that's what we're looking for. Eight, eight, that's nearly a nine. Eight, eight, 24.8, that's looking good. Don't forget that I've got to beat 25. Eight, four, eight, and seven, three. Oh, now they're not going to make it to first place with it. But still a high figure. And it's 23.7 for the last section, the interpretation, 24.07. So that looks to be a good result. It looks like it could take a third place. Into third place she goes, so that's really a good result. We've got some beautiful Crufts crystal for the top three, I think, in this competition. So a lot to play for. Now coming into the arena with her dog, Katie, it's Sue Betteridge. The full kennel club name of the dog is Galal Point Katie. It's a border collie, a seven year old bitch. And uh, apart from Hillwater to music, they also enjoy agility and obedience and do some track and search work as well. It's Katie's fourth time in the Cross Freestyle final and she's retiring from freestyle competitions today here at Crofts. Very appropriate.
Now the music, well, we knew there was a rabbit involved, is Run the Rabbit Run by Flanagan and Allen, the rightest pop stars. So there you go, over to you. On the farm, every Friday, on the farm, is rabbit pie day. So every Friday that ever comes along, I get up early and sing this little song. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. Bang, 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 goes the farmer's gun. So run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. Again, a very well-performed routine with with a theme behind it and dress appropriate to, to the routine. So the judges again will be looking at all three sections to ensure that it corresponds. And um, I think, as far as we're concerned, we look at it and say what we think is the most stupendous, and we give it the entertainment factor. As I said earlier, that I think there's two two handlers who've qualified through to the uh, Britain's Got Talent next round, so that I think, I presume they're waiting at the moment to see if they've qualified for the live shows. But uh, I'm not going to mention any names, but you might apply a little bit of pressure, they're just waiting on at the moment. So we hope they get through. It's tremendously popular now. We even have a world championship for um, heel work to music. And well, last year, what amazed everybody, I think, last year, the best in show routine 
that was performed in the arena on Best in Show Night by Mary Ray. That's on YouTube, the same as all the other official clips. So if you type in Crofts 2015 on U uh, 2014 on YouTube, it'll bring up all the official clips. And the Best in Show routine last year had, I think it's at the moment on over 1.3 million views. It's the highest rating video from Crofts last year. So that just gives you an idea of the popularity worldwide of the sport now. And it's because it's not only fun to watch, it's also based on rock solid dog training as well. So um, if you fancy having a go, wander up into Hall 3. We've got all the dog training experts and we've got a team up there who are going to be doing a demonstration in this arena, the dog activities team, um, at some point over the show. But they're based up there and they can give you all the help you want and tell you what you can do to get yourself started in Hillworth's music. And you could be competing here next year, of course. Right, we're ready for the next result. Oh, it's a nine. So 9.2. 8.4. 7.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8.5. 8
with three balls. Now two of them are lost. Got 200 yards of water that I got to get across. Did I hear somebody talking about a $40 bet? I got 30 in my pocket, but I won't let them see me sweat. Oh, no. The next bud's for you. Help me with this three wood. Save me from a double bogey blue. Well, I'm on the 18th and 7th. My knees begin to shake. I'm praying I can one putt. Try to save an eight. It's a forty dollar NASA. If I sink this, I'm a lock. I be sitting in the clubhouse, sipping bourbon on the rock. Oh, Lord. What am I gonna do? Help me keep my head down. Save me from those double bogey blues. Church next Sunday to save me from those double bogey blues. What do you think of that then? What a great routine. Kim, that was super. Certainly uh, very, very, very entertaining and a good example of what I said to you before. It's the, uh, we can give it the audience vote and certainly had my audience vote that one. A very telling little story and very cute as well. But the judges will be looking where all the moves done exactly as they should have been, etc. So we'll have to wait and see what they think of that routine. Now look to actually beating 25. That's the overall score. There's 30 the maximum, 10 in each section they can go up to and they can also make some deductions for barking or physically helping the dog. But 25 in the lead with Anne Shuka and Christine Oxenby on 24.67 in second place, Sue Betridge in third place. That's where our scores are at the moment. So we're just gonna wait for Kim's result now. It must be very, um, very difficult walking into this arena and this, uh, and this hallow green carpet for the first time. And especially with so many people in the audience when you're used to performing at little perhaps dog shows, village hall, etc. It must be uh, very uh, difficult to come in and take up your pose and try and forget the audience while you're doing it. If in between uh, the rest of the, what's going on in this arena, which we've got a busy program all day, we've got agility, we've got everything going on, demonstrations. Don't forget, over in Hall 5, we do have the obedience arena. So you can also go and have a look at the obedience competition over in Hall 5. Now, let's have a look what Kim got. This should be interesting. Certainly one of my favourites, but the judges are looking at the technicalities. And she's got three eights there, 25-5. That's a good start. Accuracy, how accurate was she? Eight, seven, eight, two, and an eight, 24.9. So she's still averaging over the 25 at the moment. Eight, eight, interpretation. I think we might have a new leader. Yes, 25.53. Into the lead she goes. Kim, that was a great routine. We loved it. Now, next, another experienced competitor. She just might have been one of the previous winners. It's Maddie with Heather Smith. <laughs> Moonlight, Moonlight Magic Dancer is the full kennel club name of the dog. It's a beardy collie, as you can see. She wasn't sure of its age, but uh, we do know it's a bitch, but she wasn't sure. It must have come from rescue. She's performing to something by the New York musical Stroke Glee and its hair. She's all the way from Scotland and they've been, they've been competing at Cross for a number of years and have won the HTM competition on a number of occasions, so she knows what it's all about. Music Maestro, please. She asks me why I'm just a hairy guy. I'm hairy noon and night, hair that's a fright. I'm hairy high and low, don't ask me why, don't know, it's 
not for lack of bread Like the grateful dead Darling Give me a head with hair Long, beautiful hair Shining, gleaming, steaming, flax and waxing Give me down the fair hair Shoulder length and longer Here, baby, there, mama Everywhere, daddy, daddy Another great routine from Heather Smith, this time with Maddie, and she's very well known for her videos and what she does with them. And again, if you're on YouTube, you can look at Heather's previous routines the same as you can for everyone else's. we just got one more handler to go now, and they need to be good to take the lead. Kim Lydon's in the lead with 25.53. That's the figure they're aiming for to actually snatch the lead. We've got Beautiful Crystal for the dogs placed first, second and third in Grave Crystal. And that's what they'll be after. Now, following this, we have a short break. Then we have the final of the Crufts Team Agility for large dogs. And that follows after the break that we're going to have till about 13.50. And following that, we've got a display from the Dog Activities Team. I did say that up in Hall 3. And there's a big team of people there with representatives from all the different disciplines. You've got obedience, working trials, heel went to music. And I think you've, you've, uh, you've got every discipline that the Kennel Club is involved in. They're up there in the activities area. You can go and talk to them, but they are coming down here to give a little demonstration of various activities, including gun dogs. It's lots and lots to see. 
and there'll be a good commentary on it so you know exactly what they're telling you. You can hear everything that's been said. So do come and join us a little bit later with the dog activities display and do go up into Hall 3 and talk to all the enthusiasts there, which they will explain to you everything about their particular sports. Right, we're ready with the results for Heather Smith now. Just one more dog to go in this competition. Nine, five, eight, three, and eight. Oh, that's a high one, 25.8. Eight, nine, this looks like it might take the lead. Eight, one, and eight. 25 dead on. Nine, eight, two, and a seven, three. 24.5, will it take the lead? 25.1? No, it's just gone into second place, I think. But a good try. Yes, into second place, just been confirmed on our scoreboard. Now the final competitor is to today's competition and we've seen her once with a, a little beagle she's in again now with her dog skiffle and is lucy creek give a big round of applause she comes in the arena skiffle's the name of the dog harriet skiffle king is the full kennel club name of this border collie dog which is five years old she says a very bouncy five-year-old collie and only just starting to grow up he lives life to the full always smiling and loves cuddles and he would work all day if you let him so obviously he's very popular with his owner, Lucy. So they're performing to the, uh, with the Ukulele Orchestra of Great Britain and leaning on a lamppost. So uh, music maestro for the last time, please.
She's absolutely wonderful and marvelous and beautiful and anyone can understand why. I'm leaning on the lamppost at the corner of the street in case a certain little lady comes by. What a great routine! And Lucy, what a great piece of music! When you see it written down, leaning on a lamppost, you think, here it comes again. But in actual fact, that was a really, really, I thought, original way to do it by the ukulele orchestra of Great Britain. And when you look at any piece of music, you know, you do a search on it online, which I know this is what the handlers do, then you, you, you get about 10 or 20 or 30 or just three versions of the same track. And if you keep going long enough, you come across a little gem, which I think that was, because it was so different. I certainly haven't heard it before. I don't think it's been used in her words of music before. And put a very talented handler with it, and that's what you get, a really great routine. So now we're just waiting for this last result. Please do keep your seats when this is finished, because I would really like you to stay for the presentation of awards. The handlers were for months on these routines. It is the biggest thing for Hillworth's music here in the main reader at Croft. So please do keep your seats, folks, for the presentation. It'll only be a few minutes' time. Then we have a short break till the dog jewelry starts, about 10 to 2, I believe it is. But we're just waiting for Claudia to finish her results. It's very important the judges are not rushed. They have to give their results. We've probably already made up our mind where we think this particular act should go, this particular routine. I know I have, but uh, let, we'll have to see if the judges agree with us. We will be doing the presentation almost immediately after this finishes. Right, the results for Lucy Creek. Oh, here we go. 9.3, 9 and 9.2. 27 for content for accuracy 8899 26.8 and I think we know where this is going folks 8592 and 95 yes 27.17 and that's our leader great routine great piece of music and very skilled so we're going to come back to you in just two seconds now with the results. So just keep your seats for a moment, please. Even, even the judges are dancing now. Come on, girls, settle down, settle down. Well, that was a great competition, a really great competition. We have a special presenter with us, and uh, he's been escorted by young Dave Jolly now. Would you like to join me in welcome is the uh, chairman of the Field Trials Subcommittee and a member of the Kennel Club General Committee, Mr. Wilson Young. And thank you for coming along to present for us today, Wilson. Right, and the results of the 2015 Crofts Freestyle Final here in the Genting Arena. In first place with a stunning routine, and you always wait for the, to the last for best, I think. In this case, it's true. Lucy Creek with Harriet Skivelke. <laughs> what a great routine, Lucy. Love the music. In second place, with Moonlight Magic Dancer, it's Heather Smith. In third place,
In third place is Kim Lloyden with Can It You Said What? Well done, Kim. In fourth place, Sue Betridge with Good Alpine Katie. In sixth place, fifth place, Jackie Roberts with Rosmark Marmite Soldier. In sixth place, Christine Oxenby with Legacies Is Eagle. In seventh place, Lucy Greek again with Darwin Making Waves. In eighth place, Pauline Goddard with Mr. Snowden. In ninth place, Anne Shuka with Splish Splash. In actual fact, the piece of paper they gave me was actually wrong. There is the correct result up there. So the winner was Lucy Creek. In second place, first time here, Kim Lloyd. In third place, Heather Smith. In fourth place, Anne Shuka. In fifth place, Christine Oxenby.